Basically, I bought all the things that were in my cart. What's in here? Oh, I think this is the set. Really love this container. This is sick. I don't want to be poked down there with something sharp. Ooh, this box has lots in it. She gone back. This mask that makes me look like I'm wearing someone else's skin, yes. What else I got? This is either gonna be the dorkiest thing in the entire world or the cutest thing in the entire world. <sighs> Let's do it. I want to do a little Amazon haul unboxing with you guys, because I got a lot of stuff. And then I want to share with you everything that I have bought from Amazon because it's been a lot. I've been a little Amazon crazy recently, but I got some good stuff and I want to share with you guys. So we are leaving to go to Mexico in February and I wanted to pick up a couple of things. So let's see. I just ordered this stuff the other day and it all got delivered yesterday. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I used to have a silk pillowcase back when I lived in Dallas, and I don't know what happened to it in the move, like 0% chance of where it could be, or zero idea as to where it could be. So I got another one. This one had amazing reviews on Amazon. Ooh, it's really silky. And this is supposed to help with skin, hair, all that stuff. This is one, I really wanted one that had like a zipper on it so that my pillow stayed encased in it. And I just got white because our bedding is all white. Um, I know it's going to show more stuff, but I'm excited about this because I used to be obsessed with my silk pillowcase and then, because I, I, it's somewhere, <laughs> I just have no idea where it is, um, and I spent a lot of money on that one. I got that one from Lily Silk, um, but I just wanted a cheap one until I find my Lily Silk one, so if you're looking for a really nice quality one, try Lily Silk because I loved that one. But if you're looking for an affordable one, that one feels really nice and I like that it zippers. Um, so that was, that was not vacation-y, but <laughs> that was the first guy. This guy is a little necklace set, I'm pretty sure, by Nikoi. Nikoi. Um, oh, that's cute. Oh, wow, cute packaging. I kind of like this. It's like, this would be nice to travel with because it wouldn't get all tangled. It like uses um, like squishy rubbery plastic. That's awesome actually. And it like sticks the necklaces there. Okay, so I got this little necklace layering set. I've been really, oh it all is together? Is it really or am I just tripping? No, I'm tripping. Um, I wanted some necklaces for layering. I've been really into jewelry recently. Um, not so much necklaces but bracelets and whatnot. <sighs> I say that as I have nothing on my hands or on my wrist now, but um, I saw this little set and I thought it was super cute. So it's kind of a three set of necklaces. This first one's kind of like a twisted like link rope. And then this, I call it a snake bracelet or a snake one. It's like a flat lay. And then this one, which has like small and medium sort of hooks, but it's just kind of like a gold layering necklace thing. And I thought it would be cute. So grab that and I really love this container. This is sick. So you just kind of like put it all back and there and it doesn't really move. That is so awesome. I love that. So yeah, grab that. Um, kind of for Mexico. I think I'll layer that with like dresses and stuff like that. Um, but also just for like regular life. Okay, let's see what else I got. Oh, I think this is the set. Okay, this set looked so cute and I'm excited for it. Um, I figured this would be a good kind of like day-to-day -day set when I like don't want to get dressed, but do. <laughs> um, this is so soft. It didn't look soft in there, but it looks soft or it feels soft now. Okay, so I've been wanting the Skims, or not Skims, the... Um, Spanx set. They have a set similar to this, but it's in black. And I have a white haired dog, so that would not work out for me. When I saw this green, I was like, yes, it's olivey. It looks brighter in the picture, I'm not gonna lie, but it's kind of got this um, seam down the center. I will try all this on. I was thinking this would be a cute airport outfit, but also just like, like I said, lounging. Um, I got this in a size small, and it's kind of got street leg um, pants, but it's so soft sweatery material um i am kind of nervous that it will pill or peel like uh not pill but yeah pill but like pick 
yeah I'm kind of nervous about that so we'll see but so cute and love the color it comes in so many different colors but it's really soft and really stretchy so yeah I've been eyeing that set for like a hot minute if I like it they also have an orange color that I might might have to snag all right I need some scissors with Amazon purchase I will talk about it in just a sec all right This box has lots in it. Okay, so first thing, oh, future talk, few talk. Oh, this is a little sun visor. This is either gonna be the dorkiest thing in the entire world or the cutest thing in the entire world. Um, I wanted like a visor for the beach, but also, yeah, just like for like life, you know, but mostly for the beach. And it's like a, <laughs> it's like a, um, a one that has like, I'll we'll say the hole in the top, which is a visor, dog Kelly. Um, so I could put my hair up like in a pony. It's not too big, but it's perfect for like blocking the sun from my face. And I thought it was cuter than like a normal visor because I have like just a normal black visor, but I thought this would be cute for the pool. And then you can put your hair like in a pony, you know? And then throw it on. I don't have a pony, but let's see. You get the gist, like a bun. You know, get the roots all nice and sunny, but the uh, face is protected because we don't have time for wrinkles or sunspots. Honestly, I think that's a hit. I think that's super cute. I was nervous about it. I like looked at a couple different ones to find out which one I wanted. Um, but I think that's a winner. Okay, I grabbed these sunglasses. I used to have a pair like this. Again, it wasn't this exact pair. I wish I had gotten this one. Um, I have no idea where they went. I've lost so many things in this move. I swear there's somewhere. I just have no idea where. But like, I moved like almost a year ago. So like, you would think I would have found them. These are a replica dupe for the, what are they called? Crew? I think they're called. I don't know. I love them, but they're so expensive. Um, but I think they're super cute. I like this like gold bar detail. These are bigger than my other ones. I like the detail on them. Don't touch my cheeks. Perfect. These are really cute. I like these a lot. What do we think? Love them. Okay. Those are a hit too. Gosh, I'm just, just getting it. Getting it today. Comes with a little Casey thing. Yeah, those are cute. Those are not just, like I said, not all this stuff is not just for Mexico, but it's, um, I was, I pulled the trigger. It's stuff I wanted. Basically, I bought all the things that were in my cart. <laughs> okay. This, I've just been seeing shapewear like everywhere and I've never, I actually have owned a pair of shapewear forever ago. Um, I think I still own it. It's not that good, but um, I haven't seen everyone talk about this and how little it is and I kind of want to try it and see if it works um, I think I got the small extra small extra small XXS XS Because um, I was reading the reviews, but I don't know. I kind of want to try it and just see what it looks like like under I wouldn't wear this like as a top by itself. I know some people do which is jeans, but I don't know it might be nice so We'll see. I will try it on in this video. I'll try it on right now and let you know what I think about it. This will not be making it in the try on clip for a couple hours. First and foremost is sheer. Very sheer. Um, I didn't hate the way it looked on my body. I didn't find that it did that much. The back is really nice and low though, so really pretty. This is the reason I'm returning it. Um, I get the whole bra closure clasps at the bottom, bottom. This part is completely unfinished and just poked me. Like, I don't want to be poked down there with something sharp. Uh -uh. So, she going back. All right, that's it for that box. <laughs> and then we have one last box. I cannot remember. What's in here? Oh yeah, these are shoes. Okay, I remember. These are shoes from The Drop. Okay, 
so i got a pair of um shoes in my recent h&m order that were horrible um but then i ended up finding my steve madden lace-up shoes so i was like cool good i don't even need to keep them anyways but then i was like i kind of want a black pair too and i knew i wasn't going to go with the h&m the one problem i had with the h&m there were two Two problems I had with the H&M were they were really like hard sole. This one has cushion in it, so nice. Second issue I had with it is I hated the middle like thong toe part. This one's just straight across. So hopefully I like these, but I love like gladiator sandals like this. So super cute black with like silver aglet detailing. Yeah, these are definitely a return though. You can tell because like everything's just kind of thrown in the box but i don't care they weren't they're not used so hopefully they're cute on me i did get them in a seven i think yeah i got them in a seven hopefully they fit sometimes i'm like a six and a half seven so i will try those on and let you know what i think about them as well so that's everything that i got like just now and then i'm gonna go into i got like 40 items within the last like whatever between then and my last video it's like two months i don't think that's crazy is it uh, it's kind of it's kind of crazy but i got a lot of good stuff i'm just gonna pick at random like i'm not gonna categorize it just because a mess so yeah we're just gonna grab and go and let me show you everything that i got but let's um start with kind of the things that i bought recently which were these packing cubes these i was hesitant on i pulled the trigger on these because i was like saw everyone talking about how you can pack more things and i was just like mm, i don't really know i don't know how but okay this is everything for my son's trip to mexico 10 pairs of shorts two pairs of pants pajamas underpants swim trunks hat shoes um everything in here this is the largest one granted but everything's in here and it just is so like easily compact. Well, he's got hats in here, like sunglasses, swim, or um, normally his, you'll see his sunglasses and his little sunscreen thing, but normally that's in here too. Like, and this isn't even like that packed to the brim. Like I still have some room, but I really like these. I like that they're clear so you can see through them. I like that they have a handle. I like that they zip all the way flat and open. These are so good. Um, so I highly recommend trying packing cubes if you have a trip to go on um i was originally going to use them for myself but when i saw how awesome they were i was like yes especially for kids clothes because they're so little and yeah i can't wait to pack my own clothes with them which i'm going to do a full pack with me video but these are awesome and i can't believe i lived with the without these for so long these are going to be phenomenal like when you get to your hotel if you're an unpacker i'm an unpacker depends how long but we're gonna be there for 10 days not in a hotel in like a not a timeshare i don't know basically like a little condo villa situation we're gonna just like unzip it throw it in the dresser and you're good to go you have everything right there so obsessed with this okay also let's just stick with the rest of arlo's stuff i think that's all i have for arlo i got him another pair of little sunglasses these are um i want to say polarized um he i've always bought him just cheapy sunglasses from the target dollar section and they break really easily. These have a little bit more stretch and bend to them. Um, and I just wanted an all matte black pair, which I haven't been able to find in Target in a while. He only has like a bright orange pair. So these are cute, love these. And they come with like a little sunglass case, super affordable, love those. Um, this guy, I'm super excited to actually use this and report back to you, but it has amazing reviews. This is called the Solar Buddies. If you watch my vlog channel, you've probably seen not all of this stuff, but a decent amount of this stuff because I kind of unbox and go as I go. So if you are not if you are not subscribed to my vlog channel, I'll put it up in the cards. What are words today? Um, but basically, this is a refillable sunscreen applicator. So you know those people who talk about using beauty blenders to apply sunscreen? This is kind of that, but it's all built into one. So you have a refillable thing, so you can put whatever sunscreen you want in there. I'm a big fan of the, I have it here, so the Think Baby. I'm a big fan of that one, so I will just load it up in there. And then it has a little roller ball, so the sunscreen comes out, and a sponge to buff it all in. So I love that. I love that it comes apart so you can wash this and it has a cap to keep it hygienic. So I'm obsessed with this. I love the like design of it, everything about it. I'm super excited to see how it works. Um, yeah, 
so excited. So got that for applying sunscreen to him. And like I said, not just for a beach trip, but also obviously for the summer. Um, I got him a little sun hat. I love these, the ones that have the mesh inside. These are just nice for pool and whatnot so they can get wet and you don't really care, but they are lightweight enough that they don't like make him too hot. It has a bungee in the back so you can customize the fit to him and it has a string. So I love these, especially for those days when it's like really hot out and you're worried about like his scalp and everything. Throw on a little hat like this um, and it's good to go. He had one when he was a baby and he outgrew it. So I got him a bigger one and they fold up really nice and small to throw in your beach bag. Um, and this fit in his packing cube and we were good to go. Moving from um, the beach to the snow because we now live in the north um, and I needed a pair of just like snow boots that were kind of just like easy to throw on and go. Um, so I saw these on, gosh, I can't remember, I think on like Instagram or TikTok, somebody talking about them. They live in Canada. Uh, but these are the North Face, I believe they're like the Thermo Ball something or other um, boot. They, at first I was like, these are ugly. And then they grew on me. They're kind of that puff material. They're um, lined with fur on the inside. They're just nice. You can like cinch them in. If you saw my saga on my vlog channel where I ordered a pair of boots that looked very similar to this from Target and um, they sent me a pair of AirPods <laughs> instead of the boots and told me basically to just use the AirPods or gift them to somebody or donate them. I gifted them to our daycare teacher who's also our babysitter um, and because I already had a pair and then they ran out of the boots. So I got refunded for that and that's when I bought these. So I think they're really cute. I think they're fun and practical. They keep my feet warm in the minimal amount of snow that we've had so far. They're not as tall as I probably would like, but realistically, I don't think I will need that, but I just like how they're easy to slip on. I can slip these on to take the dog out. Um, they're just quick and easy. I guess we'll continue with snow as well. I got these for Christmas for Arlo. These are little snowball making kits. If you have a little one who is still in mittens and not in gloves, um, it's really hard for them to make snowballs and he loves to throw snowballs. So I got him this, it's really cool. You just go to the ground, pick up the snow and it forms a perfectly good snowball, let it out, catch it. He's still on the it's hard for him to get it out without smushing it um but this makes really nice snowballs so i'm super excited they came in like a pack of four or five i've been trying to give them away to other people because he most definitely doesn't need five but just really affordable really quick and um loved the idea of this okay so i have like i said i have airpods i just have like the i think this is like the first or second generation of them i've had them for a couple of years now i love them i have like i swear the most disgusting years of life um and i was not cleaning them so <laughs> i got one of these little multi-tool situations from amazon the first guy is this little like foamy um like velvety sort of thing so you can really clean in there i was dealing with the only reason i really pulled the trigger on this is because i was dealing with connection issues like my airpods wouldn't charge correctly just the one ear because it wasn't connecting to the um like charging point at the bottom of the AirPods. So I was like, how the heck am I gonna clean that out? They make these. So the first part goes like this. And then the second part, watch it. It's like a dagger could kill somebody with this thing. It's like a pointed thing. So you can really scoop out the gook. So I wear like a tinted SPF. So I will get that in like the bottom part. I think the new ones, you don't have that issue because they like corrected um, the like design of them but I have the ones that have the mesh at the bottom but even then you still have like this part right so you can scoop out the wax it's super gross but you can clean it and it's good and then it also has this little brush that you can get in that little um meshy headphone part so I love this thing I really only clean my airpods like when I charge them so like once a month really maybe every two weeks or so is when I need to charge them because they hold a charge pretty well for me I clean them and charge them. I guess we'll segue into the gym. I found these shorts. I'm pretty sure I mentioned them in my 2022 favorites video, which I will throw up in the cards. Um, these are the Tom Tiger shorts. I own them in three colors. Well, five in total, but I owned them in three colors and then I got two more. These have been on my list for a while. These like really bright ones, but I was afraid that they wouldn't be like, I was afraid they'd be super sheer, but they're not like at all. I wear black underwear with them and you can't see them. I just love everything about these shorts. They don't have a front seam. 
Not that front seams really bother me. They're biker length short, but you can kind of hike them up a little bit if you don't want biker. Um, they have a tiny scrunch in the bum, but you really can't see it when it's in there like at all. Like it doesn't look like a scrunch bum. They're perfection. And I love the little seam de detailing in the back, but I got this color and then I got and I got this like olivey taupey color. I'm obsessed with these. These are my favorite workout shorts ever. Um, even over the Arola, they're like stretchier and not as like compressive and in my opinion, just so much more comfortable and flattering. So I got two more pairs of these guys. I wanted to try out this makeup bag and see if it would fit more products than these four makeup bags that I have and it does. So this is by Relevel. Um, this is a customizable in the sense of like you can kind of take out the compartments in here. I have the other compartments someplace else because this is the, the way I want to lay it out. So all my makeup will go in this section. And here I have contacts, contact solution, deodorant, my ring cleaner, and then my beauty blender in a little case. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with this. It has spots for your makeup brushes up here and then it has a zipper spot in the back as well. This is hard. So it's not gonna like smush your stuff. Um, it has a handle. It's really the perfect size for me. I was thinking like really wishful thinking that I could do makeup and skincare, but that's just not possible for me. Mostly because I have too much skincare. But this is a really awesome design. They have other sizes as well. This is the smallest size that I got. Completely zips open and what else was I gonna say? Like I said, there's more of these. So if you like to compartmentalize your like bag, you can, it's completely customizable. But this, okay, this one is kind of just for the moms out there. If you are potty training your little one, you need this little step up stair situation to their potty with the seat on it. This is awesome. We now own two of them. I bought one and had it sent to my dad's house for when we were there um, for Christmas because I was like, we are going to finally get serious about potty training and he's, he's fully potty trained now. Well, not fully because at nighttime he wears a diaper and during nap he wears a diaper just for safe measures. Um, but this thing's awesome. Uh, awesome. <laughs> awesome for a couple reasons. First of all, super easy to clean if they get pee and crap all over it. Um, second of all, it is a stair and a seat all in one. My biggest concern with using those ones that you just said on the potty was if he fell trying to get on it, would he be scared? Da, da, da. This is just really stable and nice. It has little grippies at the bottom and it can be customized for how tall your toilet is with these little screws. The other thing, you can completely take this apart except for this top part, but you can take everything else apart so it's really easy to pack. So we bought this and had it shipped to New York, but I my dad took it apart and put it in the suitcase on our way home and we were able to fit it. It's like 30 bucks. It's so awesome. It also just folds up so you can hang it on a little hook in your bathroom as well. It doesn't look small, but it is once you like take it all apart. So this thing is awesome for little kids who are learning to potty train. I love that and we will be taking it to Mexico with us. As you saw, I have these little scissors um, to open the boxes, but these are like my bathroom scissors. Um, I had a pair I recently just like had to throw it away because the little connector piece was plastic so it literally just snapped from using it too much but I had had them since I was in college. I use these for like everything in the bathroom. It's random things that I need to cut if I brush up my eyebrows and trim my eyebrows. Um, you just need a good pair of scissors in your bathroom and I thought these were cute like the design on them um, but they're just they're really sharp. They're a nice pair of scissors. These are technically like hair cutting scissors. Um, but I use them for like whatever. I just always have like a bathroom pair of scissors. So these are good, affordable, um, and I will never be without bathroom scissors. Okay, I've got two products here. I grabbed a SPF lip balm just to have for the beach as well. This is by Supergoop. It's their Play SPF. I struggle so bad with burning my lips because I will forget that the SPF that I love, which is like Burt's Bees or whatever, is not SPF. And so it'll just like attract and sear my lips off. So I have to be using an SPF. This is 30. Um, it's thick enough. So it's not going to like, like just melt off your lips. That's like another big thing for me. I hate like runny textures. This one's kind of thick and sticks on your lips. I also prefer a squeezy tube. Both really suck because this will get really liquidy once it gets warm and then a stick will melt. So it's like, I prefer this over the stick because the stick is like unusable when it's melted. So this is good. Um, 
and I'm happy. I've used it a couple times just to kind of test out the consistency, but good find off of Amazon. This guy, I saw a couple people talk about it and I really like the sort of laminated, not fully laminated, like brushed up sort of brow look, but I don't always want like a full like tint. I have the, or no, I like the tint of my Benefit one, but my Benefit one, I feel like doesn't like really keep them like to the sky where this I read is like glue. <laughs> it's the NYX Brow Glue in Taupe. Um, this doesn't have a ton of color in my opinion. It has more of just that like stick up. It doesn't make them flaky or anything like that. I like this. I like the Benefit one for like every day more than I like this one, but this is fine if you just want to like brush them up and that's it. But I already have pretty like full-ish brows, so I don't necessarily need to fill them in with a ton of color, but this is good. I still think I like the Benefit and would repurchase the Benefit one over this in my opinion, but it's good if you like a super if you had an issue with the benefit one staying like in place um this one would be a better option but i still prefer the benefit one um this guy i purchased another one and i mean i go through this pretty quick because i use it morning and night i did purchase this a while ago uh but yeah within the last two months i've used up quite a bit of this this is the cosrx advanced nail mucin um a power essence it's more of like a hydrating serum think of like hyaluronic acid wherever you would put that into your routine I put this in it I just think it helps with hydration and it does um fade some pigmentation issues that you might be having from from breaking out which I have I also got these microfiber towels I was just embarrassed with the fact that I was using my uh, microfiber towels that I also used to clean my house not even embarrassed it was just not sanitary so I decided to just get all black ones so that I knew what it was so I use this to wash my face with so first I will wash obviously but then I use this to make sure I got off everything like every stitch of stuff because when I leave cleanser on my face it breaks me out like it really does it's not good so I use that for that and then I also use another one to dry this came in a pack of 12 so I can use them i very rarely wait a whole week to wash my um, laundry i typically will do it in between just because there's three of us and so it's always dirty clothes um but these are nice i just keep them below my sink and i know exactly what they're for and i don't use them for anything else and yes if you're washing your face with like towels that you also dry your hands with and stuff like that could be leading to your breakouts not indefinitely but it could be and i just i wash them and i think that that's okay i don't feel the need to use like single use towels for my face necessarily but that is an option if you need it um all right speaking of skin this mask that makes me look like i'm wearing someone else's skin yes this is awesome so i loved the dr jart rubberized sheet masks for so long they were some of my favorites they're pricey and i kept thinking like I thought I liked the fact that they were rubber, but in reality, you're liking what the serum is that you're putting underneath it. And that's all that any kind of sheet mask is. It's just like a use to kind of seal everything in. So you can use these over the top of sheet masks. We can also use them over the top of your regular masks that are like hydrating. I wouldn't use this over a mask that's necessarily like detoxifying or has any sort of acids in it because it could make it more you know potent but it's basically a stretchy silicone mask and you can cut these to kind of fit your face a little bit better i haven't which i probably should um but these just hook behind your ears and yes it literally looks like you're wearing someone's skin my son is like absolutely freaked out by it but this is awesome you can just wash it and hang it up silicone is really clean it doesn't take on anything uh, it doesn't smell or anything like that and it's super hygienic because you can clean it so i love this i will put on either a sheet mask and then put this on or i will just put like a regular hydrating mask and put this on and it's been my new favorite find i'm super excited about it even though it makes me literally look like i'm wearing someone else's skin i don't care Okay, my new puzzle obsession, not even new, my puzzle obsession has come back. If you've been watching me for a really long time, like I'm talking like college, I used to put together puzzles all the time when I lived in college, like it was my thing, um, even after college. I've kind of fallen off of it because I didn't have a spot to put them, like I didn't have a dining room table after I got back from college. I think I put a couple, or after I got back from Japan, nonetheless. 
Scott's dad got me a puzzling table for Christmas, which I will link that up here and down below as well, just so in case you're interested in it. I love it. I'll put a picture up. It looks like you can stand it up on his legs or you can lay it on a table. Um, it's got like pull electric. It's phenomenal. Anyway, I put together one puzzle and then I quickly went on Amazon and grabbed this. This puzzle though, do not recommend. Do not recommend. It was so easy. I literally put together 80% of it um, in one night. And then Scott helped me with the other 20% within like 10, 15 minutes. Like it was so quick and so easy because it was just really easy. It's a hundred or a thousand piece puzzle and it was fun, but I like something that's a bit more challenging. So leave me your puzzle recommendations, like companies that you like their puzzles from because that one just, it was just too easy for me. And I don't mean to be like, uh -huh, I'm just so good at puzzles. I really am though. <laughs> All right, this is another um, vacation grab. I used to own these a lot. <laughs> I have no idea where they went. It's been years though. These are little perfume atomizers, atomizers, how do you call it? Came with a pack of four. Basically all you do with these little atomizers, automizers, like the old Travelo, if you had one from them, just take your fragrance that you love and you wanna see this top part and you just press it through the bottom and you can see it fill up through the screen. And then these would be great for purse, gym bag, traveling, anything that you don't want to just have one fragrance selection. And you just take and good to go. Super easy. And the mist on this is really good. So a pack of four for 10 bucks. Great deal. And then, yes, I'm going to show my underwear again. I showed these my favorites of 2022 as well. These are the seamless um, mesh or like ventilated underwear i had gotten a like multicolor pack but then i just found myself really gravitating towards black so i just grabbed another pack of black um super affordable really comfortable i was just wearing them to work out and now i wear them all the time they're not the sexiest things in the world but they're so comfortable i love them so yes they're amazing um i grabbed these little mini clips i found myself like using those giant claw clips and they were too big for my hair for like a cute look so I wanted to get these little gold ones they're like real metal and heavy duty like they're really nice the spring and everything on them they're small for my like shorter hair so I got this square one and then this kind of like half ovally guy but they'll be cute to just do like a half up half down without doing like without having a giant clip just a smaller one so loved this little set Speaking of hair, I also got the viral wax stick. I'm probably the last person in the world to get it. They were out of the the one that everyone gets. So then there's this like dupe, the S-N-T-E hair wax stick. So basically you just push it up from the bottom. You can do slick back styles. Now, yes, it's shiny. It's not sticky, but it's greasy. So um, note that it... Um, it says it's not greasy. I don't know if it does actually say. Oh, is this applied to damp or? Hmm, interesting. Um, because it has like castor oil, beeswax, avocado oil, all that kind of stuff in it. So it looks nice on the hair when you're like slicking back, doing like a low bun or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it does leave your hair greasy. Don't use this on freshly washed hair. I did because I was like, it was raining and I was running out the door and I just wanted my hair in a slick back pony. It worked really amazing because I have like some short pieces. Uh, but it was gross but you can use just like a little bit of dry shampoo to kind of soak up that oil it works okay um, but I recommend doing it on like dirtier ish hair but it's good it's nice to, to just have something in a quick convenient stick and I'm happy that I grabbed it um since it is not sunny here in the midwest like 90 percent of the time I grabbed some vitamin D to incorporate I already have vi daily vitamins and whatnot but I wanted some extra vitamin D. This one currently has been good for me. I've been using it probably for about the last three weeks. They're just little capsule pills. I only take one um, and I take them at night with the rest of my vitamins. I always take my vitamins at night. So yeah, see this guy here. I'm pretty sure this is still available. This is a dupe for the Tan Lux body butter that I love. I still love that one. This one was what I originally fell in love with. It's got a shimmer to it. It's like a gradual tanner. It's awesome. Um, it doesn't have, like, it has, like, a tint, but it's not, like, gonna, I don't know how to explain it. It does have a, a yuck smell. 
it's not yuck but I only apply it at night and I'll mix it in with a little bit of my moisturizer if I want even more of a gradual tan this stuff's like 18 bucks compared to the tan locks which is a lot more expensive but tan locks on QVC you can always get some deals but this I think they're not going to be carrying this size anymore the green small bottle is not the same I've heard I don't know I've heard it's not the same so if you can grab this off Amazon, like I said, I think I got it for like 16 or 18 bucks. So good. Will last you forever. Forever, forever. You don't need much. And if you're like light or don't want a ton of color, because this does produce a lot of color, even though it's a gradual tanner, mix it in with a pump of lotion. Do a pump of this and pump of lotion and rub it on. And it's awesome. But I only use it really at night. It's not something you have to rinse off, but I just don't like the smell of any tanner. I don't care what you tell me. I do not like the smell of any tanner personally. Um another one of these guys since getting my hair done I love this purple mask this literally is my favorite toning product that I've ever tried purple shampoos are okay I just find them kind of drying kind of stripping purple conditioners in the past that I've tried I found very like producty feeling on my hair where this I feel like is just everything it's a deep conditioning purple mask I mentioned this I think in my 2020 favorites this is my second one that I purchased um it is hecka purple it is smells good i love this company like okay let me read you some things about this for every jar you use i'm also made they're made with recycled plastic but for every jar you use we remove a jar from our oceans love that they're vegan cruelty free whatnot um sulfate and paraben free and also look at this okay um if this did not work for you don't fret get in touch with us we will fully refund you you don't need to return it just give it to a friend in need like what it's awesome stuff works though too i shampoo my hair fully and then i apply it mostly towards my roots is where i concentrate it and then bring it down my ends my hair feels silky soft afterwards you don't want to put this on your hair for too long um really focus it on the spots that you need it and then let the rest kind of just slightly go through if you feel like your ends are too purple put regular conditioner on at first so it'll kind of help with too much saturation but i only leave it on for like three to five minutes it is holy grail so freaking good it's a super random one but we got our new rug like a while ago and the corner was just kind of like lifting up so i grabbed these the little rug like gripper things these um don't leave any like residue marks because we're renting and we have wood floors washable reusable and durable like how awesome so they kind of come in these two little strips that you just put on a corner but you can just use one if you just need like one side of your rug but we had a corner that was lifting so it comes in a big old pack um like this so you can reuse them wash them uh you can use them on rugs or corners circles rectangles or just like the edge of a rug these are amazing and they've really they've stuck and nothing else has stuck i tried a different set which i think i threw away because it was terrible and this stuff is really good oh my god okay i swear we're getting through this there's not much left <laughs> my humidifier i grabbed this i think during like black friday or amazon days i don't know it was on killer sale and i finally pulled the trigger on it i love this one there's a couple reasons why i love it first and foremost it's light i can like pick it up and take it to the sink and fill it up it's like a removable tank but the top of it will fit two days worth of water for me two nights running for like 12 hours 12 plus hours honestly um and then it's small enough to fit on my nightstand but not too small for where i feel like it doesn't do anything for me and then it has three different controls for the airflow so i run it on high um for 12 plus hours and it will last me two nights and then this top part you can kind of like swivel around love this great for hydration especially in the winter i deal with a lot of staticky-ness and then i obviously deal with a lot of um dry skin so we love that another <laughs> bedroom find was this not what's inside of it but this giant it is huge extra large extra extra large rope basket i love these these come in so handy for so many different things which is i own a couple of them because i love them um i put our like decorative pillows and blanket in there if i don't feel like making our bed 99 percent of the time i don't um i like to have a space for it so i liked this one the color pattern was nice and went with our room and then your pillows aren't just sitting on the floor and then your dog sleeps in them so this has been oh amazing all right wrapping up i swear we're almost done i grabbed these little 
powder puffs, these triangle powder puffs that have been all over TikTok, I feel like. They're awesome, little velvet powder puffs. I like that they're triangular. Comes in a giant pack of like six, I think. You can wash these and reuse them. They're awesome and they apply powder really nicely. I would imagine they'd probably set like loose powder better, but I just use regular powder and I like it. Another repurchase that I've purchased a million times, this is the DH um, C deep cleansing oil. The only cleansing oil I use, it's just awesome. Um, I get this on repeat delivery. Same thing with this guy, my favorite SPF, but I've tried the CeraVe, CeraVe tinted SPF, which it's different, but I like it even more. So cheap. Okay, the Ulta MD though, this one's amazing. This is the tinted UV daily, daily over clear. If you deal with pilling um, with the clear, try the daily, it doesn't pill for me anyway so love this guy okay so i fell in love with the regular snail mucin from cosrx so when i saw these these have been on my wish list for a hot minute now these are the cosrx advanced snail mucin power sheet masks so these are literally so amazing i think i've used three of these um they just come individually packaged i put these on with the silicone mask game changer your skin is so glowy so hydrated just like replenished feels amazing i'm obsessed with these things so if you can find them in stock i highly recommend checking them out if you love the snail mucin power essence in itself this is like power packed extra everything it's my favorite this is like my favorite go-to for like recovery nights in my skin cycling i will go ahead and use this it's everything and then you don't need to use the essence so it's amazing. These would probably be great before like a big makeup event too. Like if you want to do this before your like makeup prep. So good. Okay. And then this will come as no surprise to you if you watch any of my vlogs and or I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in a favorites video. These are the Ugg dupes you can find on Amazon. I would have bought the regular dupe or Amazon. I would have bought the regular Uggs, but they were like sold out everywhere. So these are their ultra low rise minis whatever ultra minis i'm not sure um i did a little bit of a comparison these are definitely not the same as the uggs the fur inside is 100 not wool it's just soft and cozy i've had these for a while now i wear them every single day as house slippers i love them um i like them a little bit better because they have this rubber sole so you can walk outside um and you're good to go they have um like a similar color to the Ugg. I would say that they're more of like a, almost like a green hue to them where my other ones are more like a red hue, but I love them. The quality for how much I wear these, I wear them every single day, multiple hours of the day and I'm obsessed with them. So they're a really good dupe. They're pricey, I feel like for like a dupe, but I would have bought the original ones. But like I said, cause I was like 50 bucks for a dupe, like, it doesn't matter that they look like it. I just wanted how like the style of these. Loved these for house slippers. So I use them strictly as house slippers. I don't really leave the house unless I'm like going to walk my dog or pick up her crap real quick. I'll like, throw these on, but these are really good um, and obviously more affordable. I can't speak to the full wear of them. Well, like I said, for what I've had them, I love them. And I think that they're squishier than my real lugs, so they're a win in my book and then last but not least we have my little headscarf so i grabbed this i just thought this would be cute for like dressing up little ponytails um wearing it around the head all the things so cute so that's it that's everything i know right that was a lot but i like making these every so often to just kind of share with you what i bought recently having in one place for everything i'm obsessed i got some really good stuff um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed everything will be linked down below in the order that i talked about everything I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.